pure and utter morning chaos here on this Brookhart Monday morning. But James, you got your movie on? You got your wipes you're gonna clean up? Stairs open up the windows. We got some beautiful 70 degree breeze coming in. And I, I'm about to go make the freshest pot of coffee because I got stuff for pour overs delivered yesterday. delicious cup of pour over coffee. Yes, I was influenced um, by Katie and Brian who had that equipment at their apartment when we were house and dog sitting. Yes, I was influenced by all the fancy baristas that I've gotten pour overs from and yes, I was influenced by my Tampa buddy Steve because he, prior to being obsessed with running, he was obsessed with coffee and I know he'd be pumped about that. So, I can't wait. I had so much fun making these pour overs, Katie and Brian's, and now I can do it every day at my own house. Look at this big kid. He found a Sanad dipping dish that Sarah's unpacking. I'm done working for the day. Before I go over to Christina and Grant's, where I'll meet Sarah and James, I'm gonna go go out for a run because Chicago Marathon is very quickly approaching and these are the next shoes I'm trying out from my buddy Steve. These are the Addy Zero Boston Nines. They were too uh, too firm for Steve and he said he got about 18 miles on them so basically new shoes. They feel good for me, they're a little big but I've got wide feet so hopefully this will work out. Look at that, most beautiful city in the whole dang world. Whew. You know, you spend months and months looking at the skyline every day and then you spend four weeks away. Makes your heart grow fonder, huh? You can definitely tell I haven't been running on this run, but I feel good. I think it feels good to be running. Um, I can just feel the fact that I did not do as much running in Florida as I wanted to, which there's no excuses, but we did live that Airbnb on a dark road, 70 miles an hour, no sidewalk, so. But I, that's just an excuse. I could have gone somewhere else to run, but I didn't, anyway. Can't do anything about that now except for run the proper runs between now and Chicago with proper recovery and eating and drinking prep. So that's what that's what Peter's brain will be consumed with for the next three and a half weeks. October 10th will be here before we know it, and I will be running the Chicago Marathon for the first time. And I'm sure look at that. Woo! That little mistiness. Um, for the first time, but will not be the last time. Anyway, you know me, rambling is just a way to extend my lack of running right now. But I gotta get back to it. Full mile run today. And then tomorrow, I have to start getting up early and doing these runs. They're also gonna ruin the evening. We gotta have fun in the evening, right? I forgot I had Peter's sunglasses on. I was like surprised when I saw myself. Um, I am walking over to Christina's with James in the stroller. We're gonna hang out with the kids, have some dinner. I got them some goodies, some like Goofy's candy company stuff. Um, we haven't seen them in four weeks, so I'm pretty pumped. All right, run is done. Time to go back and get cleaned up and eat some good food drink a lot of water and get ready for tomorrow morning's run. So I'm walking over to Christina and Grants to meet everybody. Um, I've been tossing around this idea today. I already threw it at Sarah. She liked the idea of it. Rather than going back to Florida for my 30th birthday this December, I was wondering like, what if we found a really cool resort or lodge or a cabin-esque thing somewhere in like upper Michigan or upper Wisconsin? that was like very Christmassy or had a Chris Kindle Market-esque thing or maybe some sleigh rides or I don't know. My birthday is December 12th. I'm thinking maybe I take off that Friday and take off the following Monday because my birthday is on a Sunday. So I'm like we could drive. Looking to not drive more than like 
six hours. I mean, if it's worth it, heck yeah, I'd go as much as, much as like eight. You know, you figure you'll leave at six in the morning and you're getting there at check-in time. Um, so I think that'd be worth it, but I just think that would be super cool, like a very quaint, Christmassy kind of feel for my 30th would be nice. Um, so if you know of anything, please leave a comment down below. Love to hear about it, love all suggestions. I also love just walking through the Chicago neighborhoods. Absolutely love it. I should do this every single day of my life. Uh -oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this was so unexpected. Sarah might take his first step. He forgot the freaking peanut frosting to put on the chicken. <laughs> I, Christina always jokes around that I make peanut noodles. It's not that often. It's so quick and easy, I'm, I'm though. I'm sorry for Peter. I love the peanut sauce. I don't like slather it all over my face. <laughs> we got some veggie curry. I got a little bit of chicken, white rice. Soy sauce. This is my kind of meal. Seriously? You still got, you got some dinner on your face. Did I expect to get that wet in a splash pad? No, but I had fun. This is a future soccer star. Wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Go Luca, go Luca, go. Go Luca, go Luca, go. Well, that wasn't as much dribbling as last time. I'm gonna stay this far and we'll see. We'll see what he does. There he goes, he's gonna toss it. Come on, Luca, come on, Luca, go, go, go. Are you kidding me? Go, 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 go. This kid is insane. Go, go, go. Gonna get some Jenny's dairy free ice cream. Are you in Jamesy's stroller? What are you having? Dairy butter cake. Ice cream or actual cake? Ice cream this gummy gummy cake. Mm. Hitting up Southport. Well, I need to hit up Fleet Feet soon. Chicago Marathon. But I'm running over to Starbucks to see if they have any spoons because Fox Trot did not have any spoons. But I got a cold brew. The latte machine was down, but this was still good. And we got a chocolate donut, which I think James is enjoying right now. Ooh. He's gonna go get some spoons. Ooh, Jamesy's donut. <laughs> <laughs> Did I feel bad coming and just grabbing spoons from Starbucks? Yes, so I ordered a cappuccino because Fox Shot couldn't help me out. But look at this cute wall. It's the South Pole Corridor. Look at the puppy corner. We need to bring Eve and get her on that. And this cool decoration. I love a good themed experience. You do it. Oh, <laughs> it's always a complex <laughs> uh, <laughs> You are a monster, baby. All right, Sarah's about to try. Sunlight. Oh, the light came on. Oh, 
Snatch it, Jamesy. <laughs> Snatch it. Can you see the can? Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Delectable. Mango chili. Kombucha. Kombucha tooch. And smell that. It's very good. It's, there's not a lot of chili. You know how I like the mango monster? This yeah. is probably like your non-monster version of it. <laughs> monster baby. Like a better version of that. It's really It's the Chicago monorail. <laughs> we are heading home. Mm -hmm. Have a lovely evening. I love We're gonna need to get a case, so we'll have to figure out where it's from. What? We'll have oh, to yeah. see if we can order a case or something. Peter's thinking about getting an electric scooter. I am. So many times, around. it's been like 10 o'clock at night, and Sarah's like, God, I have this craving. This is before pregnancy. Pregnant or not pregnant? For something, and I'm like, well, it's 20 minutes, like, I'm not gonna go drive and lose our parking spot. Right. I don't want to Uber Eats it and pay $15 more than we need to for like a $5 yeah. thing. And I don't want to walk a, a mile and a half. And I was like, if we only had a scooter, I could zip over and zip back. Yeah. I think it's a good idea. We are home. I actually just finished editing most of the vlog today, which is great. It's nice that we're getting back into the swing of things. Peter just washed some bottles. Last night we went to bed at like 10 o'clock. And it's like 10 o'clock now. And I'm not going to lie. It was pretty enjoyable. Um... So I don't know, we might just watch like an episode of Stanley Tucci Finds Italy or whatever it's called. Go to bed. I don't know. We have a lot of fun stuff coming up this weekend. We really want to decorate for fall. We have some ACS stuff coming up. Um, so I think it would be nice to kind of just like finish this Monday off nice and cozy. When you live in the city, you can go get pizza anytime you want. <gasps> I heard it was going to get them before you said a kicker would be nice. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Sleepy. It's good to be home. It's going to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>